this is the finished product. Alright, so start off by making your file structure. Main is the name of the add-on, let's say. And then props, my custom cube, and inside my custom cube, we'll go ahead and bring in the texture that you want to use. It can be JPEG, ping, whatever. And then make an anims folder, and then bring over the uh, QC and VMT files that are in your QC and VMT files folder that I provided for you. Go ahead and install VTF edit. And VTF edit does not need to be set up in any way, but crowbar and blender do. So open up crowbar, go to the compile tab and under QC file or folder, go ahead and locate that QC file that we brought over. And then go ahead and click setup games and just click add. And now you would name this Gary's mod. So we'll just call this uh, G, I'm gonna call it G mad because I already have something called G mod. Then click browse for the game info. And we're gonna go to the Gary's mod folder Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, it's right in the home folder called uh, GameInfo.txt. And then down here, all these three files are in your bin folder, which we'll be referring to quite a bit. So if you want to make a little pin on the side here, and go ahead and go to Gary's Mod, bin, studio MDL, uh, studio MDL, and then go back there to the bin folder on the second one. Uh, HLMV, and the third one is the uh, VPK.exe. Click save and close and you're good to go for that. Next, uh, you can change the subfolder of the QC file or folder. You can change that to wherever you want. You'll see that this is what the folder name is going to be. This is where all the compiled files that come out of this program are going to be put. So we don't need to mess with crowbar anymore until later. Next, we're going to add the Blender source tools add-on to Blender so we can actually mess with uh, some source engine stuff. So after opening up a brand new Blender, we're going to go to file, user preferences, add-ons, install from file, and then go ahead and locate that zip file, which it's under Blender tutorial software and then Blender source tools and click install from file. Yours will appear up here. I have to do a search for it. Click the checkbox so it's checked and click save user settings. So that's all set up. Now we're gonna set up the export just so it's ready to go for when we're ready to export. So go over to the scene tab, which is right there and click source engine export make sure that's up and running and then click the export and we're going to locate the uh, place that we want to dump all these files so blender tutorial main props my custom cube and we're just going to dump them right in there change it to smd and then under the engine we're going to locate the engine folder which is gary's mod bin click accept you're good to go you're set up for that Next, we're going to bring this toolbar out, so click and drag, and then bring this down a little bit, just so you can see this better. We're going to bring out a second viewport, so click and drag here, and just drag to your right. And then change this to Node Editor. This is for textures and whatnot. I'm just going to move this out of the way because we don't need it. I'll zoom in a little bit. We'll get to that in a bit. You don't need this toolbar anymore, so you can just mess with that and put that away. Change Blender Render to Cycles Render, and you're basically good to go to start setting this up. So. Right click the cube, press S on your keyboard to scale, and then hit 1, 0, and press enter. Use your middle mouse wheel to scroll out, and now you can see the whole cube. Now we're going to rename this over here to my custom cube. Hit enter. Uh, right click it, make sure it's still selected. Do control C, control V to paste another thing in the same spot. Change that one to my custom cube underscore fizz. Paste another one and call that one my custom cube underscore idle. And now we're going to go ahead and go down here to the timeline and change the end frame to frame two because we only need one frame of animation for this, just idle. And then make sure you're selected uh, on frame one here. And you're going to go ahead, and make sure you have the my custom cube idle selected. So you can just left click on there. That's selected. Move your mouse inside the viewport anywhere. Press I on your keyboard and choose lock, rot, scale. Now go over to frame two, press I again, lock, rot, scale. You've officially animated your first prop. So go ahead and click the My Custom Cube and we're going to give this thing a texture. Go over to your Materials tab here. You can delete this one and click New. Go ahead and change the name of that material by double clicking in there and type in My Custom Cube underscore text. And go ahead and go over to your node editor. It'll be populated now. And do add texture, image texture. You'll just left click anywhere in here to drop it off. 
click open, and you're going to go ahead and find that image texture, which is main, props, my custom cube, there. Click and drag color to the diffuse. There you go. Make sure you're in material viewport right there. Click that down there. Go from solid to material. And now you're ready to export. So scene, scroll down and click export, scene export, three files. There you go. Go ahead and move the my custom cube underscore idle file to the anims folder. And now open up VTF edit. We're going to do file import and open up that file, our texture file. Everything is fine with the default settings. And file, save as. We're going to call this my custom cube underscore text. We can close VTF, edit, we're done with that now. Now we're gonna go ahead and compile Curlbar. Go ahead and click compile. And there you go, you should see something similar to this. It'll have three sections if it's a simple prop like this. And there you go. Now you'll see a new folder has been created called Curlbar Compiled. You're gonna copy these files over to your Gary's Mod models, make a folder called main props, my custom cube and paste them right in there. Then go over to your Gary's Mod materials, make it main props, my custom cube again. And you're going to copy over the VTF and VMT files and paste them right on in there. You should be good to go now. So go ahead and open up Gary's Mod. Go ahead and start a new game. All right, so go ahead and open up your queue menu and search for our prop that we just made, my custom cube. And there you go. There is our cube. Notice that it is all over the place. That's because we do not have a UV map, which I'll get to in another video. Now I'm going to explain what the QC and VMT files are and how to set those up. If you don't care to hear about this, the video is over and you can go on to the next video if you'd like. This is just to explain what those files are. So go ahead and open up QC with Notepad++ or your favorite text editing program. Could be WordPad, Notepad, whatever. This is my custom cube underscore Q, or my custom cube dot QC. This is where we're setting the uh, model name, my custom cube dot MDL, then the SMD which was created from Blender, and you'll see here this is locating where the uh, materials are going to be, which was right here. The that's why you don't have to put in materials; you just have to do main props my custom cube. There's that. Then you're setting what kind of prop it's going to be. It's a metal prop, solid. This is your sequence for it being idle since it doesn't have an animation. You only need to put one FPS because you don't want to waste resources. And notice it's called anims my custom cube underscore idle. You can actually leave this exactly, you know, you don't have to do a separate folder for it necessarily, but it's good for organization so you know that the idle is your animations. Once you get many more animations, then you're perfectly fine, you know. Okay. And your collision model is this. You're saying setting its auto mass, inertia, damping, rotational dampening, and it's concave, meaning that it uh, for a cube you don't need concave. You could do, I think it's called bounding box. Next is the VMT file. It's also just a text file. It's just basic, just to link the textures for the prop. And that's how it gets the my custom cube underscore text. That's where it gets that VMT file from. So that is all. Enjoy.